Resident Evil Village places you in unfamiliar territory against a host of enemies, ranging from werewolves to giant vampire ladies, and plenty more. You'll soon find that while Village looks similar to Resident Evil 7, it also takes a lot of cues from RE2 Remake and even Resident Evil 4. Whether you're new to the series or a veteran zombie hunter, here are 13 essential tips you should know about ahead of time. Resident Evil Village will often throw small groups of enemies at you, and unlike the shambling zombies of games past, lichens move in quick to stalk, strafe, and lunge at you. Make sure you utilize everything around you to even the playing field. Look for shelves to push in front of openings, or bags of flour you can hit to blind opponents, giving you more time to get off precise shots on distracted foes. There's no end to them. Many enemies can wield weapons that will deal even more damage than usual, but you can shoot them in the leg to knock them down and give yourself some breathing room, or permanently disarm them with a shot to the arm. Ethan's new combat training means you can not only block incoming attacks, but briefly holding block when an enemy strikes, instead of just tapping the button, will stop their advance for a moment, allowing you to tap the block button once more to push the enemy back, which usually stuns them just long enough to line up a headshot. If you're having trouble aiming, try adjusting the settings for camera and aim acceleration in the options menu. It will feel different for each person, but we found that turning it all the way off makes aiming accurately much easier. Yellow is the most important color in Village. Not only does it signify interactive objects, it can also help point the way forward or to helpful items and areas, so keep your eyes peeled. Breakable crates, ladders, switches, even bird cages will all have splashes of yellow, and if you see yellow rope on the ground, it may lead you to pools of water with fish you can hunt. Your inventory works a bit differently than in previous Resident Evil games. While it's similar in style to RE4, you don't have to actually worry about juggling keys or crafting components. With this in mind, grab every gunpowder, herb, and resource you can find. If you're worried about running out of actual inventory space, just wait until you need to heal or reload to start crafting. Speaking of inventory management, you'll eventually find alternate pistols and shotguns to use. If you like one variant over the other, don't be afraid to sell it to the Duke to make a tidy sum and free up some space. You'll even pay more if you've upgraded it a bit first. That said, if you are going to sell your extra pistol or shotgun, be sure not to waste ammo by using the entire clip first before swapping to your new weapon. Every bullet counts. One thing that does take up inventory space is animal and fish meat you can start harvesting a little ways into the game. You can unlock permanent upgrades from the Duke with enough ingredients, but the good news is he doesn't need all the ingredients at once, so offload your meats to him often to free up room. Don't let up yet. There's a lot of treasure to be found in Village, but be sure to take a moment to inspect it all. Sometimes treasure can be combined to increase its value by a huge amount, so it's worth waiting until you find the other part before combining it and selling it as one item. You can find a list of what treasure to combine in our full guide on IGN.com. Some treasure can be harder to spot than others, so be sure to inspect the environment carefully. If you see a glowing spot on the wall or ceiling, shoot it down to collect valuable crystals. You can also listen carefully for the faint creaky noise of bird cages twisting in the wind to shoot them down from the trees. You'll be returning to the village itself several times over the course of your adventure, but it will be at least a little bit different each time. Be sure to revisit previously explored areas to find new enemies, animals, and pathways to travel that weren't there before. Unlike the bulk of the village, there are certain contained areas of the game that you won't be able to return to for various reasons. Some are small like Louise's house in the village, and others can include much larger regions. We won't list them all here for obvious spoiler reasons, but always be sure to make one last sweep of an area before leaving to get any last hidden treasures, or you may miss out on some good loot that will be forever out of your reach. And those are our tips for surviving everything Resident Evil Village throws at you. Well, almost everything. You can check out our full RE8 guide on IGN for boss strategies, collectibles, and more tips. Like how to get away from that relentless giant vampire lady. What tricks have you discovered? Let us know in the comments below, and for all your other survival horror needs, you're in the right place. IGN. <laughs>